Insperity presents the Small Business Advocate Show with Jim Blassingame, brought to you by FedEx, CareerBuilder.com, and Palo Alto Software. This is a copyrighted production of Small Business Network, Inc., all rights reserved. <laughs> You're listening to the man who has received so much recognition for his work on behalf of small business that he had to get a bigger mantle for his awards and a wider door for his head. You have reached the transmitting signal for the big giant head. All big giant circuits are busy right now. Please stay on the line. Mr. Humble, Jim Blassingay. Welcome back, 34 after the hour. Thank you very much for joining me. Thanks for hanging out with me. Always a pleasure to... Continue to be with you. I'm very excited about our good friend Diana Fershcott Roth being back on the show. Diana is senior fellow with the Manhattan Institute. She's contributing editor to RealClearMarkets.com. She has been an advisor to three, count them, three presidents. Uh, she is the author of Regulating to Disaster, How Green Jobs Policies Are Damaging America's Economy, and also Women's Figures, an Illustrated Guide to the Economic Progress of Women in America, and I'm very excited to say that she's an outstanding member of our Brain Trust. Diana First Scott Roth, welcome back to the show. Great to be with you. It's good to have you back. Um, okay, we're going to talk about we're going to talk about Medicare and some of the new proposals that are being made right now on both sides of the aisle. But before we do that, I think it's appropriate that you and I set the table on why small business owners should care about this. Because this is a little bit, you know, this kind of policy, the entitlements is not the kind of thing that small business owners necessarily wake up thinking about. But the truth is, we're sitting on $16 trillion and $17 trillion in national debt. We've got a trillion dollars in annual deficits. And, but, if you, if, and I talked about balance sheets in the previous segment. On the, on the balance sheet of America, there are contingent liabilities of, of entitlements that are running closer to seventy, eighty trillion dollars, aren't there? They really are. Yes, yes. And if we don't get these debts down, that's going to crowd out other investment, and it's going to make politicians raise our taxes. Yes. So that's or, why it's important that we get the debt under control. Or bar- we're and, going to be the ones who's going to be paying for it. And or borrow more, continue to borrow more money, which means that that. Uh, and, and interest rates are not going to stay low forever, right? So the, 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 the interest, the cost of that, of servicing that debt is going to go up. It means the government's going to take a bigger piece of the, of the overall economy, and that's going to hurt small businesses out on Main Street. So the people that I'm talking to, Diana, I'd like your thoughts on this, are telling me that they're not worried about Social Security. They're not even worried about some of the welfare-type retire, uh, entitlements, like food stamps, for example, they're not even worried about that. They say that they think they can get those under control. The one, and they're not worried about Medicaid, they say. What they're worried about now, more than anything, is Medicare. And this is the health care program for people who are, who are considered seniors, over 65, 66, right? That's right, yes, exactly. Because it's like an all-you-can-eat steak dinner. You go <laughs> in there... Uh, and you don't have any limits on what can be ordered because you don't really see the price. Mm -hmm. John Goodman has written an excellent book on this called Priceless about how our health care choices are completely removed from our visibility of the prices. You know, when we decide what we want to buy in terms of clothing, we can go to Bloomingdale's or we can go to Target. We can go to Saks Fifth Avenue or we can go to Walmart, and then we choose the piece of clothing that we want. But with health care... You know, you just go, you don't see the price, and you say, this is what I want, a new right. hip, heart bypass, whatever it is. And John, John Goodman's uh, founder of uh, NCPA, right? National right, Center exactly. for Policy yeah. Analysis. So, a- exactly. And, 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 of course, we don't want to make it sound like that, that it's just seniors being, being uh, irresponsible. It's what's available to them, and they don't have any control over the the overcharging or the mismanagement of the healthcare system, right? Uh, that's right. It's, they not don't, it's not just it's not just seniors. It's everybody. Everybody right. is in the same position. And what's really interesting is if you look at the health services where people have to pay or pay a portion, those costs are going down. Think about eyeglasses or eye doctor appointments. Mm-hmm. There are these places called Four Eyes or My Eyes and right. all over the place in shopping malls. 
There are people advertising discount glasses, two pets for $99. I'm having a uh, procedure done in, later this year that if I, were in, if I were fully insured like I was years ago when I worked for Xerox, Xerox insurance company would probably pay about $6,000 for that procedure. I'm, I'm, because I'm self-insured with a health savings account up to a certain amount, that procedure is going to cost less than $2,000. And I that's see, the yeah. difference in a free market health system and one that's, that's based on, on, on a paternal state being in charge. The, the, uh, the other thing, speak, the other by thing, the way, quick, okay. hold on, Diana, I've got to go to a quick break. I just want to stick in there. One, another problem with, with Medicare is Obamacare is pulling billions of dollars of funding away from Medicare, isn't it, Diana? And it took five hundred billion over ten years, right yeah, up front, right out, of, right out of Medicare. So that's going to put it in, behind the eight ball as well. We come back, we're going to talk about some solutions to Medicare that really make a lot of sense. Stay with us, twenty till. Insperity presents the Small Business Advocate Show with Jim Blassingame, brought to you by FedEx, CareerBuilder.com, and Palo Alto Software. This is a copyrighted production of Small Business Network, Inc., intended for the private use of our audience. Except as otherwise provided by copyright law, all other copying, redistribution, or publication without prior written consent is prohibited. All rights reserved.